Hello! So in this video, I made a huge update to the Fractal World mod. I added a whole bunch of new presets, and I've even started work on a custom fractal generator, where you can simply type in a math equation, and it'll turn it into a fractal. So to start this off, I would like to show off a whole bunch of new fractal presets I made. So there's three actual fractals, being the feather fractal, which you're looking at right now, the Cactus Fractal, and lastly, the Mandelbrot in Hyperbolic Space. Now, for whatever reason, this creates a whole fleet of them, which are all slightly different from each other, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of unique. But when I made this, I started wondering about making types of maps or noise functions instead of just fractals, because currently, it feels like everything just stays in one place and doesn't go on forever. So. Past all of these fractals, I've added a whole bunch of different tilings and noise functions. So, for example, this is a noise preset mapped to the Mandelbrot. And same thing but with the burning ship here. This is a simple tiling. All of these use pretty complicated formulas and just ended up with these types of results. Because a lot of them aren't really doing what they're supposed to do, but I kind of thought it was cool so I kept a lot of them. So again, just more simple tiling. This one's mostly void. This one was a mistake with the log function, but I thought it looked awesome, so here it is. These are simple sine waves. And lastly, I have no idea what this is, but it looks cool, so I'm keeping it. So next up, I would like to show off the custom fractal generator I made. So to get that, you just set the fractal preset to custom fractal, and it'll use any equation that you write. So for example, this isn't actually the Mandelbrot, but instead, it's just a copy of its formula. So. If you write this out, then it'll set that to the equation, and you'll end up with this. So if we just change this a bit, like, for example, um, hmm, let's just change this to a 1.9. Let's just turn that into something else. And if we just turn this on again, then we should see a new fractal show up. Now, the only problem with this is that it is very slow compared to the normal fractals. So, I'm not ready to rele release it yet. I still have to do quite a lot of work. But, let's just see what we end up with. And just like that, just from typing in some random numbers, being that, in case you're curious, we've ended up with this. A brand new, completely random fractal. And this should work with all of these trigonomic functions, although I still have a lot of testing to do. And by the way, this was made at like 5 a.m. I don't remember how I made it, but this is the line carrying the whole <laughs> equation thing. I cannot explain to you what this is, other than like, turning a string into uh, numbers and stuff, but like, I don't know, it, it's just quite interesting. This is the worst line of code I've ever written. Anyway, again, here's another quick example. Let's just use sine by putting it in like that. As long as you use the parentheses correctly, it should take whatever the sine of this is and just use it. So let's also just change this to, I don't know, one point. 5, and let's reset it again and see what happens. And just to speed things up, I'm going to make it a lot smaller. And just like that, we ended up with yet another bizarre looking fractal. Oh, I can see the sine wave going across as well. That's weird. I wonder how that works. Yeah, actually, that's really fascinating. Well, yeah, that's what I made. I'm going to experiment a lot with this because it needs a lot more 
work before I can release it, but soon enough I will release this on my mod room page. So if this is the first time seeing this mod, then go check out my page. I have a whole bunch of other cool stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!